twice, I hear you. So today we're gonna to build a template. And for those of you that don't really know what a template is, a template is basically just a starting point or a session that's already been built. So every time you know you wanna open up Pro Tools and make a song or an instrumental or make some music, you don't have to start with a blank slate and build tracks every time you wanna record. Let's get into it. I'm gonna make some tracks here. You can either use the hotkeys, Control Shift N, or we can come up here and go to Track, New. So now with my template, the first thing I like to start with is we're gonna go one, stereo, master fader. So I like to do the master fader first. And the reason why we do a master fader is it's just a master track over all the tracks that we can adjust before our sound hits the speakers. So the next track we're gonna do is we're gonna do one stereo audio track is that's the track we're gonna put our beats and mp3s or instrumentals on. And then the next track, we're gonna do one mono audio track. Why I do the one mono audio track is this is gonna be my recording track. If you're like me, I do a lot of punching in, which I'll get into and show you later. From there, I'm gonna do another six mono audio tracks. And the reason why is I'm gonna do two for the mains, two for your dubs, and two for your ad libs. Then from there, we're gonna add about five stereo auxiliary tracks. Now these are the tracks that are gonna be effects and plugins that I use that I don't want to be directly on every track. So now once you have our tracks here, it's gonna kinda, it's gonna look something like, our tracks are gonna look like this. And I, if you notice, mine are color coordinated because I like to see what's going on. As we can see, we have our master fader. We have our one stereo track for our beat. I'm gonna use this track just to record on. And these are gonna be my main, these are gonna be my dubs, and these are gonna be my ad libs. These are gonna be my auxiliaries where I put effects and bus and route. Now if you're not too sure about busing and routing, I have a whole nother video that explains busing and routing. I'll leave the link in below so you can check it out. If you so these are gonna be for my effects and plugins such as reverb and delay. I'm gonna come down here to our recording track and I just wanna change the color of this to red. That lets me know that's just our recording track. Labely so we don't get confused. So this is gonna be our master of course. This is our for our MP3. This is our recording. Dub two, ad lib, ad lib two. This is gonna be my volk chain, which we'll get into a little bit, vocal chain. This is gonna be reverb. This is gonna be delay. And I'll just leave these two open just in case I wanna add something else. So now let's build our template and we're gonna start from left to right. So now for the master fader, we're gonna go ahead and just use stock plugins. I know you're probably not gonna have the same plugins and effects I have. So I'm gonna use what just comes with the program. Now, if you wanna view plugins by company, like how I have it, we can just go real quick. We can go to setup preferences and then on this right here you can just go category and manufacturer so the first thing on our master fader we're going to add a compressor limiter and i just come to factory default and go brick wall so then from there we'll go this is for the mp3 now what i like to do is just turn it down a little bit under five and the reason why is because when you get mp3s from like a producer or youtube they tend to be pretty loud so i just turn it down a little bit so now we're gonna go to our recording track and our vocal track. We can go, the first thing I like to do is we'll go Avid and we'll put a BF76 and we'll turn this up to about between 24 and 18. We'll kind of give us ourselves a middle release and go fast attack, leave that. And yeah, make sure this is at four for a ratio as that will target vocals. And then from there, I'll go ahead and I will put a compressor. So we're gonna go ahead and put some compression and limiting. And we're just gonna go vocal leveler. So now I like to adjust the ratio a little bit more to about three, five. And then I gain about eight. We'll set our threshold about 27. So that's pretty good. Uh, attack and attack is good. So we have a little compression. Now from there, we'll go Avid and we'll go EQ, three, seven. And what I like to do is I used to go to vocals and we use male vox. Now this is just a good starting point. I like to roll this off to about 50 and we like I like to turn it over here and turn this up just a little bit. So then from there we can put in a, I like to put in a de -esser. So now what a de is, is it's gonna take some of those sharp S's out. So this is just sets where those frequencies, about where the frequencies are gonna be. And I like to turn my range down a little bit as this is how much of that frequency it's gonna turn down on those S's. Last thing I like to put is a gate. Sometimes you'll get noises in the background, then that's why we use a gate. It just kind of rolls off any background noise. So we'll put it about, uh, put it about 30. So anything over this just means it's gonna get rolled off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set up our vocal tracks. So our main tracks, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a compressor. 
And we're gonna set this up. So I like to go about three, five, three, six is fine. Put that knee bent, just leave the knee. You could put your attack a little and your release back. Gain this to about eight. I like to gain it to about eight. And we're gonna set our threshold to about, to about 22. And then high frequency, we could roll off a little high frequency and we could roll off a little low frequency. Now, once I have that set, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy them across, pull down Alt, and we can go across because all these tracks are gonna need some compression as well. As I just leave the mains, we're not gonna put anything else because the rest of these are gonna go through a vocal chain that we're gonna make in a minute. Okay, so now for our ad libs, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a Pro Tools Avid 3.7 band EQ, and we're gonna activate these high pass and low passes. We're gonna turn these up, turn these up. And you're gonna bring this to about 480. I like to go about 480. And then we're gonna bring this to about 39 to four, 3.94. So I like to go about, oh, 3.8 is fine. And then just give it a little boost in the middle. Okay, and that's pretty good ad-lib traps. So we're gonna have and copy that over. So now we got our two ad-lib tracks. What I wanna do is we're gonna build our vocal chain. So these are all like the plugins that I really, I want to be on like my main vocals and I want all these to go through. So I'm not gonna put all the plugins I want on all these channels because that's gonna take up too much processing power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the plugins on this. Then we're gonna send all the signal from these tracks to this track. Let's start, I like to start with a Pro Tools B67. We're gonna go 24, 24, right before three. We're gonna put our release right here and we can leave the attack. That's pretty good, leave that at four for vocals. It's pretty good, a little bit under. So then the next thing I like to do is I like to put another EQ. This is our, we're gonna use another 3.7. So we'll go Avid, another EQ, we'll do 3.7 band. And then I like to go vocals, male. Now, even though I use male vocals, I kind of tweak it. So no matter what vocals, whether it's a female or low or high, it still sounds pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about 240, 240, it's good. And then we're gonna come over here and I like to go about to the 2.5 and give it just a little shine, just a little bit more shine, about right in this three to five K region. And just kind of boost that a little bit. Give it an overall, so just kind of like this. So now the next thing I like to do is a channel strip. So we're gonna go to our channel strip. And now what I like to do on the channel strip is we're gonna put our ratio at about a four, a 4.0, 4 dot, uh, 4 ratio. And then for our threshold, we're gonna go about 19. Our knee is gonna be about 5.9. Then our attack, we could leave it about, yeah, 102. And our release is gonna be about 200. And our gain, we're gonna gain this about four. Then I like to come over here on this mid, in your mid-high, and just kind of give it a mid-high boost. Not too much. This is kind of, this is kind of gonna let those mids punch through and just give it a little boost. So everything sounds like it's up the middle. So after that, I like to go ahead and put a maximum on it. Now maximum, this is just a limiter. So it limits any any crazy signals or loud or clipping signals. So we're gonna put it about one. And then I like to put this about 1.8, about right there. And then we can go ahead, copy over our de-esser and our gate. And that's your vocal channel. Now, how we want to route this is we want all these tracks outputs to dump into this track. And then once it hits this track, it's going to go into your master and then you're going to hear it on your speakers. How we activate these tracks so that all the outputs go to this track is we're going to make this an input and we're going to go use a bus and we're going to put this on bus nine and 10. So you can do any bus. I'm just going to use nine and 10. And now we're going to go to our outputs right here and we can see this output. So this output is going to be nine and 10. This outputs bus nine and 10 and we're just gonna make all these nine and 10. So now we have all the outputs going into this track which is our bus nine and 10. So now it's gonna hit all these and it's gonna go through a chain and clean all those vocals up. So now the next thing I like to do is our reverb. So now with our reverb, we're gonna just go to Avid and we're gonna use Avid's reverb, which is a D-verb. And now for the D-verb, I like to crank till about 8.5 and then we'll put a little bit, six seconds of Milli milliseconds of pre-delay, a uh, little cut, yeah, that's fine. You don't need a low pass filter it. And we're just gonna leave it like that, which is fine. So now we're gonna activate the D-verb and we don't want the outputs like we did on here. We're gonna use buses and sends. So like I said, I have a video on buses and sends. It 
I'll put it in the link. But basically we're gonna go another bus. This time we're gonna go 11 and 12. So now we got 11 and 12, we're gonna put it on our sends. So we're gonna go bus, 11 and 12. And for our main vocals, we're gonna just put it right about 10 and copy it over using alt and drag it and drag them all over. And now for our ad-libs, I like to come in the buses on the reverb. And this is how you adjust the reverb and how much reverb goes into these tracks. So I'm gonna put a little reverb just a little higher on the ad-libs. I don't know why, but I always like ad-libs that have a little higher reverb. Now for my next, we're gonna go ahead and do a delay and we're gonna use Pro Tools delay. So my next delay is gonna be a mod delay. And the way we set this mod delay, I know it looks crazy, but don't worry. Well, you're gonna link them and we're just gonna put it on this first one. And that's basically all you gotta do. Now with delay, it's important to remember you set the right BPM or else your delay will not work right. It's very important. So we're gonna just leave the delay. Now delay, we're gonna do another bus. We're gonna route it and this will be 13 and 14. So now I'm gonna come over here to our recording track because that's gonna have a little bit of delay and we're gonna go bus 13 to 14. And we're just gonna give it just a little bit, not too much and just a little bit, you know, you could adjust it too. If you're recording and you're like, oh, uh, there's some echo, and it's like, hello, 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 hello. That's delay, just go ahead, open up one of these and just turn it down. So now I mostly just use a lot of delay really for the ad libs. So we'll go about a little bit over 10, a little bit over 10. And you should just kind of hear it in the back. Now if you hear it and you're like, oh, I want a little bit more, then you just need to go ahead and open these up and turn them up, turn them down. I just leave them right here for the starting point, you know? And we're gonna do one more mod delay three. So when we do our dubs or stacks or in and outs, kind of have like a, kind of sound doubled and give it a little thicker underneath that main vocal. We'll go back to Avid, mod delay three. So we'll go ahead and link them. And we're gonna go ahead and use this last one. Now this is gonna be bus and we're gonna put on another bus, 15 and 16. So now, you know, come down here and we can call this dub delay, a dub. So now that's our dub delay, and now we're gonna take our dub delay. So now we're just gonna add those just on our dub tracks. So we're gonna go bus, 15, 16, trying to give it a little bit under 15, and just put those on the dubs. And now I'm gonna think I'm gonna use this last auxiliary. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here, we're gonna go to Avid, and we're gonna just put a B37, and we're gonna just turn it down. And we're gonna, yeah, just leave it about that. Fast attack, fast release and look like that. Now we can come over here and we can rename our buses so we know. So this could be Voke, Chain, okay. When you rename them on here, it renames them on this. So you right now you just have a bus 11, 12, 13. You're not sure what bus is which. So if we just come right here, we can name this Reverb. And we can see when we name it, it's gonna rename it to Reverb. Now that we have all of our buses sent and routed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our first reverb on our main track and we're gonna copy it over to our vocal chain because we wanna run these buses and sends also through our vocal chain. So we got a reverb, we're gonna grab our delay and we're gonna grab our compression. And now that looks good. And that's basically our template, okay? So now once you got your template and it's done and complete, you can go right here and you can go file save as template. See this file, save as template? And now it'll tell you what category you wanna put it in. So you know, if you're, you're, you know, you're gonna do record mix, I like to keep it in record mix, then you're gonna give it a name, and we're gonna call this, you know, temp one or vocal template, whatever you wanna call it, so you remember. So we'll just call it temp one. When we go right here and we hit okay, now whenever we open a new track, you're always gonna go create template, we'll go record and mix, cause that's where we put it, and look, Here's our template right here. So now every time you open a track with new vocals, you have this set up for you. Just a disclaimer, the only thing I didn't add on this um, is auto-tune. So if you have auto-tune, add your own auto-tune. That's the only thing. Pro Tools doesn't come with the stock auto-tune. So, so let's get into how this template works, okay? So we're gonna go over to our window. So we'll go window and we'll go to edit. So then we're gonna take our beat, We'll take it and we're gonna drag it to our beat track. Remember this track right next to your master is your beat and your MP3 track. So now we got our track. So now remember, it's really important to find the BPM of this beat. So you can either use software and, or Google. I use a piece of software, Flute Nation is already in here. And it's at 80, so we're good, so 80. So now I know this beat is on time because you see these bars? 
this right here, this base hit, this hit, and this, they line up with the bars. So our beat's on time. So now, how we're gonna use this is, let's say we got our beat, now we're ready to record. So I'm just gonna hypothetically record here. I'm not an artist, so we're just gonna hypothetically record. Now I'm gonna do my main, my verse first. So let's do our verse. And you're gonna just record. Record your first verse. So you wanna stop, and now you're gonna take this and you're gonna drag it to your main. And you know, you'll have vocal waves and it'll look, you know, it'll look like, like how this looks. You say, okay, I got my intro. So now you're like, okay, I'm ready for my verse. So let's go in, okay, now this is where the intro, yeah, yeah. You're gonna take this, drag it down to your verse. So now we're ready to punch back in. Da -da, you're gonna hear yourself what you just said, and now you're ready to punch back in the bar you just left off at, okay? So, and vice versa, so you know, you'll come over here, clean it up. You got that, so that's how you do your main. So now you're like, okay, I wanna do in and outs, no problem. I'm gonna record your in and outs. And come right here, and you're gonna drag it down to your stacks. And now you're like, okay, I'm ready for my ad libs. And you do your ad libs. And you come down, we know this. These two with the EQs are your ad libs. So I will go ahead and make this template downloadable, and you can go ahead and get started and use this template as well. Let me know how you like the template in the comments if you download it. If you feel like I missed anything, or I should go into detail on something more, or you need some extra help, go ahead and leave a comment.